Okay, uh, we've been spending some time working with hyperbolic functions, and in the last couple of videos, we started using hyperbolic identities uh, in addition to trig identities as substitutions for solving different types of uh, integrals. And we want to continue a few more of those here. And in this video, we're looking at uh, standard integral of du divided by the square root of a squared plus u squared. Now, if we were just looking with trig substitutions, we would realize, well, we have a constant squared plus a variable squared. And hopefully, that would remind you of the trig identity where The secant squared of theta equals 1 plus tangent squared of theta. So here we have a constant plus a variable squared. Same form as this. And if we were just going to work with trig substitutions, this is what we would use to try to solve this integral. But now that you've been working with hyperbolic functions and hopefully are familiar with some of their basic identities, you would also realize, well, we also have this, where the hyperbolic cosine squared of x, that's equal to 1 plus the hyperbolic sine squared of x. That's in the same general form. I have a constant plus a variable squared. Uh, and in fact, there's also the hyperbolic cotangent squared of x. That's equal to 1 plus the hyperbolic cosecant squared of x. That's in the same general format. So what we're going to do now, though, in this video, we're going to use this substitution here to try to solve this integral. So we start off by saying, well, let u, let u be equal to a times the hyperbolic secant of x. And if we do that under the square root sign, we're going to have a squared plus u squared, which is this, a squared hyperbolic sine squared of x. And you can factor the a squared out. We'll take it to the outside of the square root sign, that will give us a. And then inside we're going to have 1 plus the hyperbolic sine squared of x. That's the hyperbolic cosine squared of x. Only we take the square root of it. We have that. So this part of the integral here now becomes this. And what about this part of integral du? Well, that's easy enough to do. Take the differentials here. du will equal a times the hyperbolic cosine of x dx. So we can rewrite this entire integral now. We will have du, that's just this. Take the a to the outside. And that was divided by 
this, which is this. Again, take the A to the outside. So this is just one. This is just one. So we have just the integral of dx, and obviously that is equal to x. And then at this point, we go back to our original substitution, which is this here. And we say, well, x, or more rather, the hyperbolic sine of x, that equals u divided by a. So x will equal inverse hyperbolic sine of u divided by a. So there we have it. That's the solution to this integral here. It was pretty straightforward. No tricks involved. Uh, the integral of du divided by the square root a squared plus b squared that equals plus a constant. And that was I'd say pretty straightforward. Nothing really complicated or involved here. Um, we've got some time left. Let's see, if we take the differential of this side of the equation it should give us what's inside the integral sign, if in fact we have the correct answer here. So let's just take a minute and do that. Um, hope you remember now from the um, previous videos, the differential uh, inverse hyperbolic sign of u That's equal to 1 divided by the square root of 1 plus u squared du. But we want to take the differential though. We want to do it with this. So we're going to have a u divided by a. And that will equal not just du, but 1 over a du divided by the square root, not just of u squared, but u over a squared, u squared divided by a squared, plus 1. Let's write 1 as a squared over a squared. And this will equal top part stays the same. And down here we'll have the square root of u squared plus a squared divided by a squared. The square root of u squared plus a squared. Divided by a squared, we'll take it outside the square root sign. That will just be a. And that will cancel with this. So we have that the differential of the inverse hyperbolic sign of u over a is du divided by the square root of a squared plus u squared, which is what was inside of our integral sign. So, we feel pretty confident that this here is correct. So that's that. It was really no big deal. Um, what we're going to do in the next video is solve the same integral, only we'll do it with the trig substitution. And that will probably give us a different answer altogether. And we'll examine that answer.
and see if, in fact, whether it may be equivalent to this expression here. So come back, join us for the next video, and let's see what happens.